Yeah, haven't made too many videos outside. <laughs> yeah. Really is just kind of uh, horrible here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, doesn't get any better. Yeah, it's just been a month of this crap. Anyway, you know, it's a bit lovely, but I really am sick of it. Yeah. All right, get the button. Making a video. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of a video I have to make so I can progress and do other things I have to do. So I have to get this one done as a first step to getting the other stuff done. Anyway, um, so I just thought I would announce that tomorrow was Saturday night. I'm not going to do the Saturday night thing. It's, yeah, I'm really depressed. And <laughs> yeah, I just want everybody dead. Um, and there's just no point. There's no point in me talking to anybody because I have nothing nice to say about anybody, especially Muslims. <laughs> but no, I mean, I just don't have any. I just don't have no patience. Um, just kind of funny. Um, it is kind of funny just because I haven't been, you know, like, yeah, it's like I haven't stepped into any, like, personal emotion poo in a long time. And I've just been, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of funny. I have, like, a, it's like one thing to be depressed because, yeah, the overall view of life is dismal. You know, but then it's just when that personal thing, you know, it's just, ew. Uh, it's like a kid with a pimple or something. I'm, <laughs> I'm just upset for all the wrong reasons. And it's not good, you know. I'm not even, you know, well, yeah. Anyway, so, yeah, it's like uh, I'm having a Hothley Day syndrome or something. Yeah, I'm just, uh, yeah, I just need some time off. Um, but whatever. I mean, I just can't, you know, just listen to these assholes. You know, Piero keeps, to, oh, well, what could we do to make life good enough for you, you depressing naysayer nitpickery types? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what could you do? Yeah, kill all the Muslims and kill all the Christians and then kill all the tree huggers and then kill, yes, just start killing everything and I'll let you know when to stop and then everything will be just fine. But yet, no, you can't make this into anything. It's a stupid game, idiots. You you never want to, you don't want to concede, okay? It's just an insane, psychotic ego game. And I do mean psychotic. Your, your psychology isn't psychology. It's psychoc... <laughs> psychoc... It's psychocery, all right? It's, it's, you're fucked in the head. You have a dick for a brain. Anyway, and then, you know, I watched a couple of these stupid videos with Matt doing his stupid white, ah, Albert White North Head. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just such a crock of shit. The scientist. Oh, fuck. Pathetic nonsense. And then to top it off, and I can't even, I couldn't even finish the Anaconda Vod video. I just can't do it. These people, you're all so full of fucking goddamn shit. I mean, just fucking goddamn shit is what you are full of. <laughs> you know, so fuck it, this is no point. So anyway, so this was interesting, though. Condoms, skull made out of condoms. <laughs> so, you know, so Flower was going down the list some more of, like, uh, you know, just how bad it is. You know, but this, this imp imposition poetry, um, you know, the poetry of the imposition argument. I think I coined the phrase, the imposition argument, I'm not sure, but I think it's mine. But anyway, um, you know, just this obnoxiousness of people's attitudes. Like, they just can't, oh, I can't even imagine what it would be like to have higher standards than my own. What, do you think my shit stinks? How do, oh, I can't imagine a world where my shit stinks. So, anyway, so what else should I talk about? I mean, I really don't want to do a video on depression, because that's just too depressing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just, it is weird, though. I mean, it is weird just to sort of marvel at the ownership, you know, just when you're, you know, I sit here and I make these arguments about, <laughs> you know, psychology and philosophy, and it's just so funny when my own psychology is just doing something overtly psychological and there's not a damn thing I can do about it. I'm just sitting here, my brain is intellectually saying things and it just isn't going to make any goddamn difference because my psychology has decided to be fucking depressed and it's just not going to be talked out of it. Um, <laughs> it's just funny to watch. <sighs> so, anyway. 
So yeah, I have to. I have to. I have to. <laughs> yeah, I just have to wait. You know, what else can you do? You have to just wait until it wears off, and then you can say, "Okay, back to work." Blah 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 blah. Let's see. Yeah. Right foot, left foot. Right foot, left foot. Uh, it's just part of this tedious process. It's obnoxiously annoying and irritating tedious process of stomaching these fucking putrid pieces of shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really, I really just don't have nothing good to say. I really don't like too many, I mean, I love Flyara. I love, love, love the, <laughs> I love her. You can just feel her, I mean, I shouldn't laugh, right? So you can just, you can just feel her contempt. I mean, if her, you know, if her brain could shoot bullets, you know, know that you'd have one in the middle of your head right now. I mean, it's just beautiful to watch. Um, you know, but that's what the, you know, I mean, we all just need to get to that verge of insanity without really going insane. Um, just have a view of just how ugly the human race is, just how ugly people are, just to see them, you know, see, see their real, real horror of the game and these assholes. even describe their desperation in contriving a purpose and a function, contriving, a, uh, you know, the, the Piro types just desperately rowing their boat, <laughs> you know, singing, singing folk songs in the cesspool. I mean, it's just, yeah. I really, that's probably enough. I can cut you a break. <laughs> yeah, make under an hour video. <gasps> ah, that'd be nice. So, anyway. Um, yeah, so, like I said, this all, you know, it's, you know, whatever, three weeks ago? I don't know when this all, like, I, you know, I was already getting in a mood, and it's just been rolling. It's been longer than that, right? You can figure it, you know, I was, I was due for a breakdown. <laughs> you know, you could see it coming. And so I can't really blame anything. I'm just, I'm just breaking down. It's this winter thing too. It's good on my nerves. I think it's part of it, right? Yeah, it's probably part of it. It's a lot of things, is what it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Life is, yeah. You know, just doesn't. It is. It won't leave you alone. You know. <laughs> yeah. You just. It'll keep nagging and harping. Gnawing. It's called gnawing, gnawing, that's a good word for it. Life is like a little gnawing rat or something. It just keeps gnawing and gnawing. It's sharpening its teeth on you. Yeah, that's it. That's a good metaphor. Yeah, you just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the secret is. Well, anyway, all these assholes, of course, have their little, he looks like such a Hitler now with his little half a mustache. It's just kind of funny, you know. It's, well, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm just using the word funny, I guess, because you want to just kind of funny it out of yourself. So I guess your brain is just what it does. I guess kind of ironic. Uh, you know, the impatience part. I'm just trying to figure, you know, because I, do, I really don't, you know, I, I'm really, seems to me I'm a nice guy, but really at the moment, man. I just hate these fuckers. I hate these fuckers. <laughs> yeah, I just hate this shit. I hate this, this glib crap. I'm just so sick of other people telling me what my pain is worth. I mean, fuck you. Jeez. Anyway, enough said. So, till maybe you know, for the group chatty thing. I think Flyora's going to have a room on Sunday. 
uh, Piero does his thing. There's other people talking places, so I'm sure there'll be somewhere for you to go or something for you to do with your time. So it's not going to be all that big a tragedy, <laughs> you know. And uh, yeah, I have, like I said, I got a lot of shit I got to get done, and I just, you know, and I just don't have any patience. I just, frankly, I mean, I just can't imagine having a conversation with one of these assholes and putting up with this drivelly talk about mystical, magical bullshit. I'm just so fucking sick of it. I'm so sick of people lying about what life is, about what we are, about what the whole fucking thing is made out of, which is absolute fucking shit. Fucking sick psychology. That's all there are. There's just sick forms of your sick psychology. You either love things too much or you love them too little, but you don't do anything right. You have no proportional response to existence. There is no such thing as a proportional response. Anyway, so now I think I've rambled enough. So, till the next time. So, see, this at least gets my job done. Because now I can get this done, take a nap, <laughs> and I can get something good, uh, something accomplished. So, yeah, it's part of my therapy. You know, we just call it that. So, anyway, apologies to anyone just devastated. You'll get over it, I'm sure. M m probably. And uh, so anyway, until next time. Look, you know, I, what's the point of talking? Like I say, I make enough videos anyway. So I really don't need to do this four different ways. So, but anyway. Yeah. So maybe. Next time. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time. Uh, that's the best I can do. So maybe next time.